Hey guys, what's up? So, as you can see, the weather isn't ideal and we're off to an early start on a very cold and windy and rainy day in Durban. I got a booking for a um, snorkeling adventure. So, uh, discover snorkeling with a uh, uh, guys called Tidal Tau, based in Shaka's Rock, which is about 30 minutes away from where we're staying and about I'd say 45 or maybe even 50 minutes away from you know, central Durban um, on the M4 so I'm going through this morning we've got a 8.30 start um, for the snorkeling and I'm just going through to meet up um, the lady who's going to take us out and um, you know it's a two hour snorkeling so um, we've had pretty good weather the first two days we were in Durban, but uh, you know, looking at the, the seven-day forecast and stuff, uh, there was always rain predicted, and uh, looks like Friday and Saturday are going to be the worst of them. So um, you know, I always knew that I was going to attempt the snorkeling on Friday, uh, probably in the rain. But I didn't know that it was going to be, you know, so heavy rain and, you know, possibly also this um, quite a heavy wind. Without the wind would be fine because, you know, you, you get cold and you get wet and, and, you know, you're not, uh, you get used to it. I guess with the wind and uh, especially uh, lusterly wind, um, you're going to get uh, cold every time you come out. So yeah, I booked a, a little bit last minute. I um, made inquiries on Tuesday when we were driving down and uh, they were fully booked and then they had a cancellation and I uh, joined uh, for this morning's uh, snorkeling. Um, and uh, the lady did, did give an option to, you know, you know um, cancel and, and try another day, but you know, I'm not in, in Durban as often. Um, to actually, you know, wait for a, for a better window of, of weather. So I'll give it a try today, and uh, you know, if it does get too cold, too wet, I'll uh, ask to you know leave early, and see, uh, go grab a coffee uh, while the rest of them finish up. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping to see um, some sea animals, some. Uh, tidal pool animals, fish, uh, you know, after the success of uh, my octopus teacher in the Oscars, I'm hoping to see some some octopus or even cuttlefish um, and, uh, you know, hopefully interact with them. But, you know, this is uh, like any other wildlife experience. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, so you, you take uh, what actually shows up on the day. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, by the time we start, which is in about half an hour's time, the rain does ease up a little bit. So I've been coming um, sort of um, from the south more northwards, 
and uh, that's sort of the direction that um, that the rain moves in as well and uh, all along the way it's been heavy rain so I think you know by the time I get there the heavy rain will almost catch up with me so as much as I hope for the rain to ease up I am not seeing it actually happening but we'll you know take it as it comes um, you're going to be underwater while snorkeling and uh, you're going to be wet so rain shouldn't really be the reason why you cancel maybe the cold yes so yeah we're about uh, 15 minutes away um, so meetup time is 8.15 so yeah let's see how it goes hi guys um, so yeah we are now here in Shaka's Rock um, close to where the beach uh, access is so um, and where we're going uh, snorkeling this morning the tidal pool we're going to snorkel in is uh, you know just down the way from where I'm currently parked the meeting point hopefully I'm in the right place um, I'll phone the lady that I'm snorkeling with now um, the rain seems to have calmed down and I stepped outside and it's not uh, as windy as it was at uh, Amshanga Rocks it could be that I'm in a sort of protected um, uh, road and, and the road itself is not as windy. But uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, it's not it's not bitterly cold. Durban doesn't ever get bitterly cold, but it's about... Um, let me just check the temperature. So the temperature um, on my car says it's 17 degrees. Um, it could be that the water temperature is a bit higher. Uh, being the Indian Ocean could be about you know 20 21 degrees but um, and and I've seen that happen before so the air temperature drops and the water temperature stays warm um, so yeah let's see how it goes this morning and uh, I'll try to find this lady we we're supposed to meet at quarter past eight um, so it's almost time to get going <laughs>
Hey guys, so uh, yeah, we've been snorkeling for about maybe half an hour to 45 minutes now, getting a bit more comfortable. Initially, I was struggling because the water was getting into my mask, but getting used to it now uh, with my awesome guide, uh, Michi from Tidal Tau. Uh, yeah, and the underwater sea life is brilliant, so I'll just keep filming, just keep swimming along floating along and seeing how it goes uh can do longer stints under the water now so yeah starting to enjoy it more uh yeah so let's keep going oh it's still raining but it's warm under the water so it's better to just actually keep under the water and then see how it goes after that
Hey guys, so we're done now. It was an absolutely brilliant experience. Shivering a little bit, coming out of the <laughs> warmer water into the cold air. But yeah, we're done. You wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> uh, so yeah, bucket list item, and we got it done. It's very excited to see the footage once we get back. Okay guys, so back in the car, I think it was warmer in the water than it was standing outside in the rain but I don't know if you can see my fingers all shriveled up nose is leaking it's not <laughs> but an absolutely amazing experience I mean uh, I actually didn't know you could actually do something like this, um, you know, right on the doorstep here in KZN. I guess growing up, we were quite almost risk averse. And like, I never learned how to swim properly. So something like this would have been a challenge, even if I did know it. And uh, I did struggle uh, initially getting into the water and I had uh, salt water coming in uh, through my mask because of the beard um, but once um, I put on the Vaseline and made sure that the, the mask was sealing um, I actually started to quite get uh, comfortable and you'll see I did like 10 minute stints under the water and stuff like that getting yourself orientated uh, under the water is um, quite strange I guess the more you do it the, the, the easier it becomes but I found myself getting lost <laughs> in that small tidal pool but it is amazing um, you know how much life there is in that tidal pool a lot of black tails a lot of uh, parrotfish which I've never seen before um, that was quite cool a few big grunter as well spotted grunter um, yeah and um, lots of other like coral and we saw a lionfish I couldn't get myself uh, oriented <laughs> to uh, actually get a picture but yeah we did see a lionfish they are uh, quite uh, deadly they've got poison uh, in their spines so they, they're quite spiny so if you do touch them it's quite painful apparently a uh, few cuts and bruises from standing up on rocks and knocking my feet on rocks. I shall be back, definitely shall be back um, and uh, bring uh, more friends with me the next time. Uh, I think it's something that, you know, we should all try and experience. <laughs>